Hey everyone, Bill Lowen here with Wired to Fish. Gonna give you a tip today about one of my favorite flipping baits, and that's a four inch flipping tube. This is a Venom tube and Green Pumpkin, as you can see. I'm gonna show you exactly how to rig it to increase your hookups, okay? Here's the biggest mistake that most guys make when they're rigging a tube, because they try to rig it like you would a traditional bait. Okay, so they insert the hook into the head of the tube and they bring it down. Now, traditionally, if you're using a beaver or a pack of craw or whatever you may be, you're gonna take the eye of that hook and bury it into the saw plastic, just like we would do all the time, okay? Then the guy's gonna rig the tube to expose it like so, okay? What happens now, if you got the eye of that hook in there, you lose the purpose of the lock in the hook, okay? That hook, that lock in that hook is designed to hold your soft plastics in place. Okay, as you can see, that tube is outside of that lock. So when you set the hook, when you get that bite, that tube has nothing to hold it in place. See how I just popped it right down? And that tube will slide down on the hook and get balled up and you'll lose them every time. I hear guys all the time say, I do not throw a tube because I lose too many fish on it. And right there is exactly why. That tube slides down, gets balled up, fish is gone, okay? So I'm gonna show you exactly how to rig this where you don't have to worry about that. Never bury the eye of the hook into the tube, okay? Just go in a little tiny bit and leave the eye of that out, okay? Sticking out just like that. Okay, and what that's gonna do is gonna keep that hook or keep that bait in that lock. Let's a hook do what it's designed to do, okay? Second thing you're gonna do is you're gonna bring it out and you're gonna tech expose it. Okay, everybody knows what that is. You bring it out and expose it out the back of the tube. As you can see, that hook's coming out and it's angling into the tube, okay? That's a big no-no, okay? So what happens is, if it's angled in there like that and you set the hook, the hook drives right straight into the tube, okay? So take your pliers and flex this hook open just a little bit. Not a lot. Okay, take that and just flex it open. We're not talking about much, just a tiny bit. What you're wanting to achieve by doing that is you want to get that hook to lay perfectly flat on the back of that tube. When you flex that and make it lay flat, you can leave it lay right against the tube just like that, and you're going to increase your hookups 100%. The other big tip I'm going to give you is when you're flipping bushes, and I know it's a pain in the butt, guys like to peg their weight, okay? I never peg my weight on a tube when I'm flipping bushes. What happens is when you flip it in there and it goes to the bottom and you go to snap that tube up, the tube separates from the weight and gets very erratic and darts left and right. It's gonna get you a lot more bites by triggering that reaction bite. So the next time you're flipping bushes, take those tips that I just showed you, go after them, and I know it's gonna put some more fish in the boat for you.